Hi, I'm Ben Fischel, and today, instead of another Wii video, we're going to be upgrading this Microsoft Zoom to a 60 gigabyte hard drive that we're going to list it on eBay. So, this is our 60 gigabyte hard drive. You have to be very careful when handling drives because they're very sensitive to static electricity. So, I'm going to use this screwdriver, and the first thing you have to do is on this bottom bezel. You have to find Try it on like this. Comes up fairly easy, not real, not much of a struggle. There's two Phillips screws left there. That's what we gotta get out before we can open up the device. Pretty tiny. So it's important not to lose them screws out, you can take a safe open plastic wedge or a Phillips head driver and pry it into the bottom. It's pretty easy to do, but you don't want to start at the top because you might end up ripping off the headphone jack. So just wiggle the wedge in there and the, and the side will eventually pop up like this. At that point you can just grab onto it and start to wiggle it off. Just, just give me a minute. Now it appears to hinge at the top, but that's just the way it's put together, so you just have to wiggle, 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 until it comes off. If you go too hard, you'll end up ripping off the, uh, the headphone jack, and that'd be a kind of a bad thing. Alright, it's the inside. You can see that there are two screws to take care of down here, and these two ribbon cables. One's connected to the battery, which we don't want on while we're doing this. That can end up bad. So, we pull up on the brown parts here. To release the cables. So we can remove the battery, set that aside. That connects quickly. We'll take our Phillips. Got these screws, it's important to keep them separate from the other ones because they're slightly longer than the ones from the outside. So we'll keep these over here. With that all done, we can start to remove the hard drive shield. There's some stickers holding it in place, so we can just push it back with our wedge. No, this if we're up since we're upgrading to a 60 gig drive, these are larger than the other drives. So we won't end up using this hard drive shield when we're done. Should probably lay down a map so I don't scuff up the screen. Don't be intimidated by this copper appearance, it's really just metal tape, it's nothing more, it's not anything important. Ooh, pull this off. We can just discard this over here. And then there's these two copper stickers on the side, we can get to work on those. Again, the wedge, you can do it with your fingernail, but... It's a bit harder, so I wouldn't actually recommend it that way. Ah. This may 
that be what you guys wanted. I promise I'll have a movie video soon again. Although I, I should have been able to play with one by now. Alright, the sticker's gone. Hard drive casing comes off. Barely easy. You want to open it towards the headphone jack on the top. That's where the cable is. casing like this. Now, there's the remnants of these copper screws. We should probably get these out. I'll do that later. What you want to pay attention to now is removing the old hard drive, which in this case is dead, from the protective casing. So we peel back the stickers and then we can take our wedge to the black plastic and just it comes off real easy. This drive is dead, so I'll probably be carrying it around like a trophy. <laughs> Increasing the drive capacity to 60 or 80 gigs is pretty cheap, even it, especially if you buy the drives and the zone off of eBay. But you end up, you could end up paying less than a video iPod, and you get a larger screen. So I would highly recommend that kind of a modification. So, now that we've got that off, we can pull, pull the hard drive off of the ca metal case. A little wiggling. Some metal bumpers. Ooh. These rubber bumpers are going to have to come off. You'll have to cut them to use the new larger drive. And there we have it, removed from the casing. So now we have our little 30 gig drive sitting all nice in here. Cat wishes to play. Nope. Probably not a good idea to have pets or pets around uh, when you're doing this, but I can't help it. So, grab hold of the cable, move it, and this is our new, our new, uh, our new drive. You want to be careful about this. You don't want to subject it to any hard vibrations. I got this from the eBay vendor online drives. They got gave it to me for 105. That's way cheaper. That's way cheaper than iPod mods, so it's a good deal. Pull the sticker off. And out comes the drive. Now this drive, Toshiba MK6008 GAH, is designed to work in all the portable electronics that Toshiba manufactures. So that would include the Gigabit S, uh, the iPod video, and this. But because of the larger size and the relatively close closed-in spacing of the zoom back, you're gonna have to remove all the tech 